because the forecast this evening is a little bit not so good. Yeah, we've got to starting out as rain basically as we go through the morning hours and then eventually we're going to change over to snow and how quickly we change over to snow will really determine how much we get by the time this is all said and done. But a very tricky forecast. We do have though winter storm warnings in effect basically along and south of I-44. And then as you go north of I-44, that's where we've got winter weather advisors in effect where the snowfall amounts will probably be a little bit less. But very interesting forecast to say the least. But we are going to see some accumulating snow move in. And you can already start to see that here across western Oklahoma and out into the Texas Panhandle. The leading edge of some of this precipitation as it does move into northeast Oklahoma is struggling to reach the ground because we've still got some dry air in place here where we are. But through time this morning, we're going to see some rain eventually move in and then we will start to transition to snow. Some of us as early as later this afternoon, but it may take until later this evening for some of us to make that changeover. But uh, again, eventually we are going to see that changeover with accumulation likely. And as I mentioned, a tricky snow forecast with temperatures possibly even staying above freezing as the snow falls. And with gra uh, warm ground temperatures, that will uh, really help as far as the road conditions. But initially, as the snow comes down at such, a, at such a heavy rate, we will notice the roads becoming slushy and snow covered. But once the snow tapers off, I imagine travel conditions and road conditions will improve greatly during the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning. So as of now, don't anticipate major travel problems for tomorrow morning. But when we see that snow change over late this afternoon and especially this evening, that's probably when we will have some travel problems across the region as that snow begins to come down. It'll likely be a very heavy and wet snow. Here are the views outside right now. Look at this view here from uh, Shangri-La Resort Grand Lake. We still got some uh, clearing here. But the clouds moving in, those clouds will lower and thicken up. But we're going to get a beautiful sunrise here at Grand Lake. How about that? But as we go through the morning hours, the clouds will move on in. Our temperature right now at 32 degrees, and eventually the rain moves in as we go through the morning as well. So by lunchtime, temperatures mid-30s. We start to see some of that rain moving in. Most of us in green country will be still rain as we go through midday. We'll start to see that snow though inching a little closer to us and then as we continue into the afternoon, depending on where the heavier bands line up, that's who's going to see the change over to snow this afternoon. And I think the highest chances of seeing that will be somewhere near or south of I-44. So what will happen is you get a lot of heavy precipitation, snow aloft, and if because it's uh, snowing so heavily, that will make it down to ground level with cooler temperatures. Whereas if you have a lighter precipitation, uh, it'll have a better chance to melt as it moves into the warmer air uh, near the ground. So that's why we'll see some areas change over to all snow by this afternoon, but not everybody. It's going to depend on where the heaviest precipitation is. And then as we continue through the evening hours, eventually we will go over to all snow snow, but those temperatures could actually still stay slightly above average or slightly above freezing, I should say, and then just clouds tomorrow and cool temperatures with a gusty northwest wind 30s to near 40 degrees tomorrow afternoon. As far as snowfall amounts right now, thinking south of I-44 has the higher chance of about three to six inches of snow, two to four inches probably across the metro, although southeastern parts of the metro may get just a little bit more than that, one to three inches of snow for those of you farther to the north and to the west. But there could be some pockets in some of the higher terrain here. You get into the mountains of southeast Oklahoma that could pick up five to eight inches of snow, and that'll be the case across northwest Arkansas as well. And you get in some of the mountains here of uh, Arkansas, there may be somebody 10 to 12 inches of snow, but most of us here will be between about two to six inches of snow if you want to look at the big, uh, big uh, uh, picture. As we go toward the end of the week, we'll see temperatures up to about the mid 50s on Friday and Saturday, but another cold front will cool us off on Sunday. And as that front moves in, maybe a couple showers, maybe a light wintry mix Sunday morning. We'll keep an eye on that going into the weekend.